Hey you guys, it's Isabel and I'm coming to you today with an update uh, for the week 36 and 37. Um, it really has been very difficult. It's getting harder with each day, like the pelvic pressure is unbearable and then like the lightning crotch always happening. It's like shooting pains in your lower region and then on the rectum. It's very, very painful. <laughs> then, um, what I was going to say, um, a little update about Graceland. She just had a little virus going on last time when in the previous video and she was all better two days later the fever broke and her appetite came back and everything was well thank god so i did go to the doctor um two days ago and now i'm two centimeters dilated and she said that she could even stretch more but she would not do that and she basically told me that I might be going to labor any day now. And she's not really confident that I will make it to my next appointment, which is on Tuesday, the 20, 28th. So we will see what will happen she already gave me like all her schedule when she's on call or what in which office she is at if i need her if i start feeling contractions but they're like still bearable just to go and see what's going on instead of going to the hospital and like literally being in bed all the time and feeling stuck so I'm really hoping to make it past the 27th because the 27th is the last day of school for my girls. I don't understand why they do that actually because they should have made tomorrow the last day, Friday. Why they have to go on Monday just for a couple of hours. <gasps> Excuse me. Allergies. Um. So, yeah, it's... It's pretty foolish. The show I've made Friday the last day and that's it. But I still have to drag on Monday. But there are only two school days left. But until the Monday is, is more than that. So um, I'm really hoping to make it past this weekend and Monday. And then... Once the girls are home, that's so much easier because um, it's just really, it will be really hard for somebody else to do it, to drop them off to school and they go into different schools and it's just too much. So I just hope that I will make it uh, so I keep my fingers crossed. So what I was going to say. In a matter of three days, I lost my mucus plug. Mucus plug is sort of like a cork that keeps your um, cervix um, from catching any bacteria and transferring it to the baby. So, and I started losing it little by little. So, and the, the once it comes out, it's it means that you're dilating the cervix is dilating so it's coming out with my other pregnancies um let's see i think i noticed this only with graceland i don't remember seeing it with my other three and um what else i was going to say i know that i had bloody shot with michaela with my second daughter this i remember because i gave birth literally in a matter of 24 hours after the bloody shot 
it's like mucus tingled and blood sorry for tmi but since you all clicked on that video you you know i will be talking about bodily fluids and all the pregnancy goodies that it comes with so um what else i'm going to add so with that it, uh, it, it's like it, I know it's not the first time, but it, I'm really nervous, especially leaving Graceland. I've never been away from her, and especially I'm going to be away for two days. It makes me really, really nervous. Like I'm trying to get everything ready and prepared. So all her needs going to be met. Then. Um, I've been having a lot of back pain lately. It's like and the sciatic nerve is here and there, like everything. Like so once you, in the end, it's like that's the most miserable time. That's when you feel the most pain, when you're the most tired. Like you go to sleep tired and you wake up literally even more tired than you did go to bed then the, um, the swellings have been moderate but like my doctor saying it's barely visible to me i see it but she's saying that it's barely visible it's okay but what i've been doing to keep it that way is the decaf green tea i've been drinking one cup in the morning and one cup at night and it actually um works like a diuretic it makes you pee more and it helps with getting rid of the swelling the edema that you get in your ankle some people get in their hands the face belly so it helps with it it tastes absolutely gross i put i put lots of lemon in mine so i don't really taste it and I, I, until this day, I still cannot drink raspberry leaf tea. I tried, I just can't. I've been drinking it with my last pregnancy, no problem. But this time, I cannot tolerate it. It tastes just so gross to me. So, there is no doing that. But I'm glad that I'm able again to drink coconut water. That's what I've been doing. I've been drinking coconut water. It helps with hydration. And it helps with... Um, getting rid of the swellings as well and I've been hydrating really a lot I've been aiming for one and a half gallon um, already I already drank today right now is what now it's 925 and I'm already like almost halfway that's the bottle I purchased on, on Amazon and I will be taking this bottle with me to the hospital because they be giving you these little pictures that's like nothing I prefer to have my bottle there and then drink it and like track how much I drink as well which is good it has those timestamps here which help you and like little encouraging words and on this side is the the milliliters and ounces so um i've been having a lot of contractions lately as well um especially after i empty my bladder or if i don't go to pee right away and i wait then it's so impossible to walk and then i feel lots and lots of pressure and then that's when the contractions come on too uh, my doctor told me to drink a lot a lot of water to keep the contractions at bay but like I said I drink already over a gallon of water and it's still happening so I guess this little guy wants to come out soon but he should stick around until after the school is out then he can come then he has the green light to come and then so um I really hope to make it past 38 weeks, preferably. I always have that fear every time um, before, like in the end of pregnancy, before having the baby. 
with the jaundice. This is such a dilemma and stress. Two of my kids had it and then one of them had to stay a whole week in the hospital. This is something that I just can't imagine to dealing with with a toddler at home. So I really hope he comes like after the 38 weeks. Um, so uh, Gracelyn did come after 38 weeks. She was born at almost 39 and she still had jaundice. It just depends. Or if by any miracle he ha he will have my blood type, then there is a lower chance of him getting jaundice because they get that jaundice because of the um, the blood type incapability. I'm a O plus and my husband is an A plus and like so to say that my blood cells killing off the baby's blood cells it sounds so horrible and like monstrous but this is the thing that happens and this exactly thing exact thing causes the jaundice in newborns so even though Gabby my firstborn she was a preemie she didn't have no jaundice thank god but then too it's easier to manage when it's summertime because you have all the light and sun but when you have the baby in the winter time there's, there's barely any real sunshine out there so of course it depends where you live um what else i was going to add okay um i've been um having a lot a lot of pelvic pressure like i was mentioning before and at times it's so bad it's like it makes you feel like you want to use the bathroom and this is the scary part because actually when you labor that's the feelings you get you start feeling the pressure and then the pressure on your rectum and oh my goodness it's crazy but, and every time that happens i'm trying to relax and think like oh let's see if it's like really that bad to be going anywhere because i hate going to the hospital and then being stuck there in bed not moving and then nothing is progressing and then you're being sent home it's very exhausting and i can't really let myself do that right now because there's so many things going on and just this little guy needs to stay put. Um, actually with Grayson I only went once to the hospital where I was contracting for 12 hours but I didn't progress past two and a half centimeters so they sent me home. I was really mad because I was so exhausted and just um, it just was like my body was failing me because I've been in pain for so long and then there was nothing going on. But five days later I actually delivered her. I woke up to broken water. So, um, what else I was going to say? Um, I'm still nursing Graceland with no problem. Um, I'm really surprised because I know so many women lose their supply like in the early months of pregnancy or sometime midway but thank god still going strong it's going to be an adjustment once the baby is here but there is nothing that we can't do right <laughs> so gotta do what you gotta do um i think too this way it's gonna prevent the jealousy between them if they're gonna have a special bond between them where they're nursing together there's like the special time with mommy i think that's what will make them feel closer to each other and then when the baby be uh bigger it will be easier because when the newborn is like it's a fear because my my one year old will be climbing and trying to do crazy things so when they're bigger it will be a better adjustment but I'm looking forward to it. Um, what else I was going to add? 
um i'm really really anxious i don't know what to expect because each delivery is unique and you don't really know what to expect um i will be posting um a hospital bag video after this one i try to get it uploaded tomorrow so and I will be talking about what I'm taking, what you really need, what you really don't need, what you should have a home on hand when you get back, and what uh, postpartum essentials you will need once you deliver the baby. Um, so, um, not Grayson, what I'm saying, Madison turned seven on Monday. She had a great time. Her birthday party was at the spa. She had her friends there, so I'm really glad I did it this way. I didn't have to deal with no kids uh, in the house, like trying to cook and prepare, decorate. That's too much, especially this late into pregnancy. So that was a perfect thing I did that it was done outside at the spa. And like you just pay them the money and they do everything the way she wanted it she's obsessed with Encanto I think every little girl now loves that movie so that was her team they created everything so beautifully and she had a great time they got to do their nails they did the facial mask with the little cucumbers on their eyes then um, they did their makeup they had a fashion show they had pizza they had lots of fun now everybody's talking about it so i'm so happy i did it um what else i was going to add what been going on i think that's it let's like beyond the bump update um on that note i will conclude my video thank you guys so much for watching and please Comment, like, and subscribe, and see you soon in the next video. Bye.